Hey, it's Birdman for Birdman on the Mountain, powered by Cellular One. Here it is. It's the beginning of the year. And this is a community shout. And uh, I'm talking a little differently if you're listening to the podcast because I'm now looking at a camera. So YouTube, every single episode of the community shouts from this point forward. Uh, here, of course, at the Poor Station with me today. I've got Tyler Roush. How are you? I'm good. You're good? You having some fun? I got to give you a little more volume, don't I? Cause, uh, yeah, I got I to gotta talk a little quiet. Today, you got to talk so a little quiet because yeah. you're not feeling, you're under the weather. Yeah, just a little bit. You know, the holidays seem to do that to everybody. I don't every know why. Every year. Every year? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because the family members all just wear us down. Yeah, exactly. Don't they? Yeah. Exactly. So you asked a question sitting down, and I've had this question asked many times now. Uh, there's this little guy here. Uh, it's an Altoids box. And you're like, dude, what's with the Altoids box, right? Mm hmm. Uh, this is a headphone amplifier. So inside there is all the Check happy out. little uh, battery. And it's nice because it'll drive the headsets that we have here. And then it also drives the audio into the video component tree as well. Nice. Makes it nice so we can hear everything. Uh, you're having your coffee. And it's an Altoids box. And it's an Altoids box. I mean. Yes. And it's an Altoids so. box. I got my Birdman uh, tumbler. Thank you very much to <coughs> Kim Wino. Hey, there's a plug to you. Um, so. We're talking White Mountain Tees, aren't we, today? If that's what you want to talk about. Sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. What else, what else you got going on? <laughs> so how are things going over there? Going really well. Going really well. We're excited about uh, 2017. Got some... Um, Giving new really equipment. I walked in, there was this huge yes. printer the other day. Yep. What, what's the deal with that? So in addition to our, our screen printing and our direct-to-garment printing, we've offered banners... Um, and you know some different vinyl products for a while and we uh, one of the investments we made at the end of, of this last year was a vinyl printer so we'll be able to bring most of our vinyl um, banner printing in-house which is is gonna you know um, that's gonna allow us to shorten our turn times right. so you know whenever whenever you sub something out you're kind of at the mercy of whatever their pr production times are so um, we're going to be bringing most of that in-house through this first quarter we're going to kind of be ramping up and getting used to what the machine can do and, and getting really good at it um, and then probably you know the beginning of the second quarter we'll actually start bringing a lot of that printing in-house and, and being able to uh, make those turn times even better so um, we're excited about that. Um, it's also going to allow us to do, you know, some things like um, there are certain T-shirt applications that you can use vinyl for, um, uh, for full color printing. Um, it'll also allow us to do some things like stickers and bumper stickers. And so we'll be looking at the possibility and, and kind of pushing on that machine, seeing what it can do. So. Yeah, we're pretty excited about it. So just the other day, I sat down with you. We, we talked about some shirts, um, but the design part of it, we did that. And your turnaround was wow. like, I want to say, in a week. Mm -hmm. uh, it was rather quick. Mm -hmm. And that's because you do everything locally sourced here. Now, obviously, you don't make the T-shirts here. Right. So, yeah. But having all these resources here in the mountain makes it easier for people that want to be able to do things, uh, do them immediately. Um, Cost wise, you know, people always look at cost and, right. uh, you know, you started with a name, which was kind of funny mm -hmm. um, that, that, that gave the idea that hey, it was inexpensive, but you changed that name. And I, I really like White Mountain Tees because it really ties things down to where you are. You're right. here on the mountain. Right. Uh, you're providing services here on the mountain. Yes. And that's kind of an important thing, especially in this day and age where we're talking about rules versus cities versus it, it's basically just the community part of it. Right. Um, Give me an idea, and I, I know you're doing you're doing sweatshirts or something for somebody's wedding coming up. I mean, you can do really small right. numbers of items, all the way up to huge, yes, inventory orders. Yes, give me some um, ideas of things you've done. So, uh, the the in in lower quantities, um, you know, if somebody just needs one or two t-shirts or hoodies or whatever, we'll usually use one of our full color printers to do that. Um, whether it's, you know, just a one color print or a full color photo, you know, we've put photos on, on shirts for people before. And, um, but there's, people have to keep in mind that whenever you're doing small quantities, no matter what it is, it's hard to make small quantities cheap. Oh no. Damn. Um, <laughs> and, and so once once we get past that and and what i try to do is is each time somebody comes in you know a new client um, i try to spend a little bit of time 
with uh, like kind of an education um, to explain what we do, explain how we do it, the different methods that we could use depending on what we're doing and how many we're doing and what we're printing on. Because, you know, you print on uh, a dry fit polyester in a different way than you might print on a cotton um, because your, your polyester is a synthetic fabric. It's got a melting point. You can only heat that fabric up to a certain temperature before it starts to shrivel and get crunchy. You know, so there, there are different inks, there are different processes, there are different temperatures. And, um, so we, we try to start with, with just a little bit of an education and most of the time it blows people away because they came in, you know, the idea of, Hey, I, I want to print some shirts. And the fact that no idea how many variables go into printing shirts. The fact so. that you know that is important. <laughs> And that's why you come to a person like you versus going to, well, this guy just bought a machine and he's able to do that. Right. Uh, I get right. a kick out of, you see online, uh, you know, 3D printers are a new thing. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, I can just make parts for myself now. Well, <laughs> you know, there's certain things about knowing. Yeah. May or may not work. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, uh, you know, you buy a camera and all of a sudden you're a professional photographer. Right. Same kind of deal. Exactly. Um, so think exactly. about these things. You don't just do printing and you don't just do screen printing and things. You also do embroidery too, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So well, how, how well into the embroidery do you do with like full-on jackets? Is it smaller things? Yes. So all of it. Okay. All of it. Caps, polos. Um, we've done, uh, uh, you know, a 12-inch uh, artwork across the back of a Carhartt jacket. Um, and the, the work looks really good really professional um you know if you're looking for that that professional edge or that professional look for you know going into a meeting with a potential client or something like that you know a lot of times i will i will kind of steer people toward well let's look at embroidery because that's going to give you that little bit more of a polished look going into that type of a meeting um to be able to present what you do in the most professional way um, you know, most of the time I can get away with wearing printed stuff, no matter where, no matter what, because what I do is yeah, I, you know, I uh, print shirts. White so. Mountain <laughs> Tees. It's nice when Tees is um, part of your name. You can sort of cheat that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. So, well, I have so, to wear a t-shirt, so uh, I've got to promote the company. <laughs> cap and a hoodie. A, that's my uniform. Very so, good. Awesome. Um, yeah. So it's, we, we have a lot of fun with what we do. Um, I've got a great team and we focus on, on, um, taking care of our, our customers no matter where they are we do we do business across the country but you know um, in changing the name to white mountain tees we really wanted to focus on uh, we're part of this community um, you know and and we want to be an effective part of the community we want our pricing to be in line with you know what you might get on you know on a website somewhere um, but more than that we like that personal interaction we like that you know, you can come into our shop and we can get to know you and, and uh, be able to tailor products for you specifically rather than just, you know, some random thing that you threw together. Just some random head. online deal and yep. that's kind of deal. Hey, cool. I'm yeah. going to knuckle bump you because you're sick. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Tyler Roush with White Mountain Tees. Check out their website. We'll put the information up uh, on the box. I've got uh, some other people coming in, so hang out and uh, we'll be right back with them. Okay, hey, I'm back and uh, still hanging out here at the poor station, of course. Uh, with me now, I have Cheryl. How are you, Cheryl? I'm great. How are you? Good. You're my favorite mail place. Thank you. I don't store anything over there. So it's America One yes. Storage, Mail and Ship, right? Yes, yeah. absolutely. It's the mouthful. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and then some. Yeah, cool. So uh, it's a new good new year for you guys. You guys have had a lot of activity going on over there. What's What's happening? Absolutely. We got some new things going on. We got some storage prices changing. We got some building going on in the front for some new RV spaces. It's some exciting things going on. So um, it's kind of interesting to me. RV space is actually a premium, isn't it? It's kind of hard to find a good place to store your it RV. It is, absolutely. So what do, what do people look for and what do you offer them there? Well, safe secureness. We have a, a gate system that they have a coded entrance and exit that they have safety there. We have on staff. Um, manager that lives on site, which is me, yeah. that I always run around and make sure everything is good. We're going to have nice, secure new fencing, safe spaces for them to park in and store their RVs. 
in the off season and on the on season. Yeah, it's nice and level. You've got yes. good drainage over there. So it, it's just a good place to, to do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Plus, if they need to ship anything out of there, they just go right inside the door and boom, go. Yep, there you cool. go. Um, okay, so pricing. You said you've got some price changes. What's yes. Now, it's funny because we went through this Proposition 206 thing. Everybody's raising prices. So right. I'm, 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 I'm sitting here, and I already know the answer, but they're going, oh, wow. So she's going to have to tell us she's going to. She's going to have to raise some prices, but guess what? That's not the case. So what do you got going on? We have prices that we're lowering. We're trying to give back to the community, be competitive, be uh, able to fill our facility and have economic structure. Cool. So what kind of price differences we talk about? You can go ahead and readjust there know, if you need I'm, to. I <laughs> I'm falling off here. It, it happens. It's by the big poof on the top Yeah, the of my big head. poof on the there hair you, doesn't help you go. much. Oh, okay, perfect. Cool. Put it up above the poof. Boom. There we are. Hey, awesome. Cool. Okay, so what do you got? Yeah, um, well, our 5x10s have been going for $45, $45 a month. So we're changing it to $41 a month. Wow. Yeah, our 10x10s usually run $75, $76. They're going to be $65 a month. Our 10 by 15s that run 101 usually are going to be $89 a month. These are pretty significant price changes. This yeah. isn't a little bit. This isn't like $5. This no, is like, no. Yeah. It's, it's quite a bit. And our 10 by 25s usually run 145 45 and they're going to be 130 Wow. Yeah. Our 10 by 30s across the board, double door and then some usually run 170 171 and they're going to run 156 a month. Then we have a 12 and a half by 20 that usually runs 146.45. That's going to run for 130. Our 12 by 25, which is 171.71 a month normally, is going to be 156. And our 12 by 30, which runs 196.95, is going to go for 180 a month. Wow. Pretty cool price changes yeah, there. Yeah, we're um, excited. I got to say that, that that so that's pretty encouraging. Means people will be able to store more uh, in and maybe even upgrade spaces, things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Or so less. this this is available now. What happens if somebody already had a deal with that? Is their price going down? Yes, I sent out notices um, before the beginning of the year, so everybody will benefit on this. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. You get a notice in the mail, you know, you expect in price. There's a price change, and uh, the next thing you know is. It's less. Um, uh, you gotta gotta have some happy people there. We do. People are kind of set back. They call me and say, "I got this notice, and I think it's going up." I'm like, "No, it's going it's going down." down. Yes. Very cool. So, Very. America One Mini Storage Mail and Ship. Uh, great to see you. And uh, so, anything else you need to tell us? Um, that's about it. We got some exciting stuff on the RV. You can keep watching. We're gonna have our fence built, and everything will be going good. Very cool. Thank you. Hey, that'll be it uh, with Cheryl here. I've got another person hanging in the wings. We're here at the Poor Station, White Mountain Purified Water, and be right, right, back, right back with them in just a second. Okay, hey, you know, we're back hanging out here at the Poor Station, had some coffee, and uh, this guy showed up. Hey! Jimmy Applegate, how are you? I'm good, man. How you doing? <laughs> good. So we just finished up the uh, chamber breakfast. Yeah. Uh, where we had breakfast. What is that? No, what are they building over there? Oh no, no, it's like an igloo. No, no, no. They're making ice, ice drinks. Ice it's, drinks. Uh, it's ice drink time. It's like uh, twelve degrees out, man. Yeah, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you get people that come when it's ninety degrees getting coffee. Yeah. So right. there's people that get ice drinks when it's hey, two. I've gotten like an ice cream shake in the in the winter time. Yeah, like, cool. I'm with it. All so right. what uh, what's going on with the chamber? What do we got happening? This is a busy month, man. Mostly because we're getting ready for a truckload of stuff. I mean, already show low days isn't till six months away, but. You know, we start those meetings last month, month before, but now they're really... Time to go. Yeah, it's it's gearing up. So we're already looking at Sholo days uh, coming up uh, June. It's the first weekend, June. So June, I think it's 345. 345. You know, yeah. I drove by the park the other day and looked down and I was like, yep, well, we'll be down there for Sholo we'll days. We'll be, we'll be, that's coming. <laughs> And, yeah, uh, I'm sure the city boys do that and they try to make their grass all nice and pretty and perfect and it's green and then we go stomp on it sorry for a weekend. Guy. Yeah, we're sorry, but you know... <laughs> We'll see. It's the thing. You know, that's what, that's we, what do. we do. Right. So um, I want to mention, though, very good uh, event there up at the uh, Honda. Yeah, wasn't that a good one? Yeah, we had a, lot of, a lot of fun with the, uh, the the holiday bash or whatever the heck, Christmas bash. I'm calling it Christmas. We're going to change it. We'll change the name to Christmas party. Christmas party. Christmas party. party. Yeah. 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 Just for me. Yeah. 
I just just for Birdman. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Uh, but uh, no, good job there. That Thanks. was that was a lot of fun. It uh, was. Uh, we've had there. a truckload of comments, and they've all been positive. It was a good time. We had fun. Cool. So you've got a list of things. So I got a couple things. So uh, I want to talk about the gift certificate program. We've got that uh, up and back, and a lot of people know what that is. Some people don't. But uh, regional chambers, which is uh, Sholo. Chamber, Pine Top Lakeside Chamber of Commerce, Snowflake, Taylor Chamber of Commerce, and Springerville Eager, which really is all of Apache County Chamber. They take mm-hmm. care of everything over there. Have joined together in, our, in a regional Chamber of Commerce. We meet regularly and talk about the activities and events of the mountain and how we can incorporate and help each other out. And years back, they had a gift certificate program, which is uh, very simple, a way for us to help people incentivize people to shop locally right and how this works is is really easy uh we have a common account uh gift certificates are 25 dollars. birdman you can come in and buy a gift certificate for your uh your employee right right and uh, for christmas or for their birthday and give us 25 dollars. we'll give you a certificate for 25 dollars, and that certificate can be cashed or utilized at any chamber business in the white mountains so they can run over to Springerville and buy a, you know, put that towards their chainsaw that's going to be, you know, at the, or, or the Ace Hardware that's over there in, uh, in Pine Top. Or right. you can buy a coffee here at Poor Station and utilize that money that way. So that's how that works. And uh, it's a fundraiser for us. It keeps money right here locally. And uh, we've got that up and running again. So. So what's really cool is, like you said, it's it's available anywhere. Yeah. And that's sort of like you know you buy the gift certificates for a, for a uh, McDonald's, mm-hmm. and you can go to any McDonald's. Well, here mm-hmm. you can buy it for any business. Yeah. And it works everywhere, right. which is very very cool. Right. Um. That's that's a good way to make it easy to give a gift. I mean, yeah. it really is an easy gift at that point. Yeah. Um. It's sort of like a it, it's sort of like a Visa card or an American Express card, mm-hmm. but better because you know then it's going to drive local economy. Mm-hmm. And we've seen these things even be used outside of chamber membership. And here's the reason why, right? You you buy one for your employee. You give it to him. He doesn't know who all of the chamber members are. Now, they've got a little decal in their window that says, hey, I'm participating in this program. But he's not going to check that every time, right? And so he might use it at a business down the street that just accepted that check. And that keeps that money here. For businesses, let me address this really quick. If you're a business and you receive one of these gift certificates, you just... Turn that into your bank uh, just with your regular deposit. Uh, that'll get taken out of my account, dumped into your account. Works just regularly. So we're not going to segregate and say only member. It's designed for chamber members. But guess what? If a chamber member business uses it, man, we're still happy about it. We Money's kept here locally. Right. And that's the deal. That's what we're trying to do. Cool. So What's next on your list there? Annual banquet and auction dinner. Mm. That's a big event. Coming on up. Coming yeah. up. So it's February 24th. And uh, that's the event that we have uh, every year. A couple things happen at that one. One, the uh, the businesses of the year, large and small business of the year, small business of the year, the uh, the uh, business members of the year are announced at that dinner. Um, also, we uh, swear in our board members. Birdman, you're one of them. You get to stand up, raise your arm to the square, and say, "I state your name." They start yep. right, that guy. And uh, we swear. So we've got uh, new board members, and of course we'll let everybody know who the new presidents and the, and the executive board uh, is. And uh, so, and it's of course a dinner and an auction, desserts. Uh, there's a lot of fun that's going on that night. So it's a, it's a busy, busy night, and that's coming up February 24th. February 24th. So yeah. uh, set your calendar now yeah. and uh, be there, and we'll have some fun. That's a Friday night, right? That's a Friday night. Friday night. Yep. Just so you know. Yeah. And we're, it's over Lacanos. We took over that big room that's on the side there yep. and pack it full. Uh, you know what's cool about that uh, celebration is that, uh, you know, we, we do several meetings, dinners, events throughout the year. And and you tend to see these businesses that you always see that come out yeah. to these networking functions on a regular basis. And every now and then you'll have a two or three or five new ones that come and go. And that's just kind of how that is. But this event, for some reason, attracts everybody. everybody. Yeah, they, they all yeah, come in mass. Comes. Yeah. The, so 150 people worth of some people you haven't seen since the last time you had this meeting. And so it's kind of good to a reunion kind of thing. You know, Very hey, good. how you doing? How's your business? So cool. anyway. 
Awesome. So uh, then, finally, it looks like. Yeah, show the days. Show the days. Yeah. Well, we already mentioned we show touched the days, on it, but but, uh, but yeah, we're still kind of gearing up for that. Which you know, that's the derby down the deuce and uh, show the days event itself. All of the vendors. I'll mention this one thing real quick. Uh, we are adding to the vendors list uh, a, a part of Sholo Days, which which typically is food right. of all kinds. All that carnival fair food is going to be there, and then the, the uh, and the vendors are mostly arts and crafts. Now we're adding to that this year, kind of a preparedness uh, fair type. Uh, um, vendors as well. So I've got a list of um, almost 600 of them that they've they do this down in the valley regularly, and I've teamed up with a gentleman that's helped uh, put that event on down there. Mm-hmm. And so we're inviting those folks to come up and uh, and join us as well. So we'll have an entire category or area that's kind of an emergency preparedness group uh, to bring uh, more of those uh, more of those kind of wares to our event. Very cool. And that's always fun. Uh, yeah. Remember, you get the Derby Down the Deuce that sort of goes on. You've got burger burns that go on. Yeah. We'll get into more of the details as we get closer to the event. But uh, it's fun for the entire family. Yeah. Uh, lots of kid zone stuff yep. um, and, and all that. It is. Wiener dog races. Don't it, forget that one. Wiener dog races. It <laughs> is the kickoff of the summer. It really is. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, we have a lot of fun with that. Anything else, Jimmy, for the Chamber of Commerce? Oh, we're leadership's going on, ongoing. Uh, we're in the middle, right in the middle of that six, seven month window where leadership goes right. every single month. And so, I think this month is Healthcare Day. We get to visit uh, Timber Mesa Fire, and then we go from there to Summit Healthcare and spend uh, the rest of the day with them. It's a good day of education, but uh, boy, it's just a busy month for us. Very cool. Well, thank you for your time. You really bet. appreciate it. Thanks for having me. No problem. Hey, that'll be it for this edition of Birdman on the Mountain, powered by Cellular One. Sholo Community Shout. Uh, hope you're having fun out there. And uh, like I always say, if I don't see you around town, I'll catch you right here on the web. Please um, subscribe. You're going to see a subscribe button up in the corner. And then there's a, a, a thread thing down at the bottom that lets you know each of the different type of playlists that you can be a part of. Uh, having fun here in the mountains. We're always going to be on YouTube now. So if you're listening, uh, you can actually see what we were talking about and who was talking on the YouTube channel. That's Birdman Media. I'm Birdman and... I'll see you.